Hello everybody, Mallory from Zeppelin here. As a project grows in size, we often get asked what the best practices are for organising screens inside a project. Now, I can make lots of suggestions, but there isn't a one-size-fits-all solution. Zeppelin currently allows you to sort screens using sections, tags and variants. But before this, there's a foundational level of organisation, and that is the screen naming convention. So what I'd like to do today is I'm going to give you some suggestions and some considerations for when choosing a screen naming convention. So let's jump in. So why do you need a consistent naming convention? It serves two main objectives. Objective one is when someone steps into your project or onto that screen, they can quickly find out where they are and carry on, regardless of their function in the production process or familiarity with the project. This will also allow you to step away from that project or return at any time. The second objective is with a consistent naming convention in place, you or your coworker don't have to waste time discussing the name of each screen and can concentrate on refining the experience further. A good naming convention will even generate edge case scenarios and flows. So now for some considerations when choosing a naming convention. The first one being who is going to see it. So your team makeup should really define the language you're going to use in your naming convention. Designers require the naming convention to collaborate effectively. Developers need names which dictate logic. Project managers just need a high level descriptor so they can understand what you're working on. And customers have none of these requirements. They just need to see that the product is working. So who from this list is going to see your naming convention? If they're on a screen, can they orientate themselves on where they are based on your naming convention? Can they decide for it? Ask them, test naming conventions with your team. The next consideration is project size. Any size project needs a naming convention, but small projects don't require high detail. It just needs to maintain order. If the project is large and complex, uh, with lots of interactivity and participants, then your naming convention will have to account for all of that. How will your naming convention scale? How will it display screen sizes, user personas, error states, and more? Uh, best reference your sitemap or user flows to understand what may be needed in the, along the way. Consider the context, um, and that is the context of where will these screens be living or where will they be received? If you're planning on using low fidelity designs in a prototype, the naming convention will have to communicate just order. If you're exporting to Zeppelin, which project will these screens sit in? Can you use the sections and the section descriptions to help people better navigate the designs and your screen naming convention? My way of approaching a naming convention is simple. Somebody should be able to look at a screen in Zeppelin, then based on the naming convention, discover other screens like it. Imagine you're leaving your work for someone who might need to navigate around it many years from now. So time for some requirements. The most obvious one is consistency. This is the backbone of the naming convention. It wouldn't work without it. You're allowed some teething problems, but if you're going to change the naming convention, this needs to be communicated with everybody. Keep your names as short as possible is another rule. The best way to do this is to adopt some easy to understand abbreviations and you can save up on space by choosing your words carefully. WA user admin projects unread notification 1280 might sound like a mouthful but it's not as much compared to web app signed in admin user project page unread notifications messages 1280 screen width. You can then, of course, break these out using the tabs feature in Zeppelin for an elevated level of understanding. So that's some food for thought on naming conventions. What screen naming convention do you use? And don't forget, you can automatically create variants in Zeppelin using dash V in the naming convention. Um, so if you're interested in what you saw today or want to have a technical refresh or technical run through of Zeppelin with you and your team, reach out to your Zeppelin representative. Otherwise, message me directly at mallory at zeppelin.io. I'll see you next time.